Well, good afternoon and welcome once again to Ed's Orchids. Now I'm uh, over at my lady friends and I'm in the uh, in the greenhouse, so we'll just start off here at the corner and see what's going on. And this is where she keeps the uh, Phalaenopsis, and the first one I can see is a Phalaenopsis Renoir. Oh, this is going to be nice. This is a variegated one. It's got one, two, three growths on it, I think. Doing very well, and it's got two nice spikes that she's uh, propped up there. That's nice, that. Phalaenopsis Renoir. Beautiful little flowers on those. This is quite a nice little plant. It's a Phalaenopsis uh, Penang. Cross Violacea Alba, cross sibling. Oh, let's see if I can get a nice look on this one. It's a beautiful green. There's no white on it, but it's showing up as white there. But uh, it's a dark green on the edges of the leaves and uh, light green. If I alter the camera, I wonder if I could get it. No, I don't seem to be able to get it any better than that. So, uh, anyhow, it's a beautiful little plant. Alright, we'll move on and see what else she's got. Bonny little plant here, another Phalaenopsis, Cat's Paw Firebird, I think it's called. Something like that. Nice shape, nice colour. This is a Violacea pulling up two spikes. And then we've got uh, Melina Green here, shoving up another spike. A Phalaenopsis, what's this one? Funny coloured leaves. Oh, Stuartiana, very uh, nobilis. And that's putting up a nice, uh, a nice spike too. Anyhow, that's a, a look at the Phalaenopsis. There's a Wilson area here. Wilson area, oh, what's it called, Calibri, with uh, one, two, three, four spikes on it. There's a Alaska Centra Christian Sonium, and this has got uh, two spikes on it there. So she's got a lot of spiking at the moment. Another one here in spike, a tuberal obium. Nice plant on a mount that. Looks like it's going off quite a number of flowers on there too. Tuberal obium. Find it difficult to say that one. And this is another big plant she's grown from a very small one. And it's in the greenhouse and it's jasmine. And this will smell beautiful when it all comes out. Absolutely full of buds all over. A few of them out there. So that's a nice jasmine. Look nice in a hotel foyer somewhere, would that? And this one in the corner is a nice uh, sweet, dendrobium sweet dawn. That she's had many years and it the flower is absolutely beautiful. Got loads and loads of uh, growth on it and when it spikes it must have 20, 30 flowers on. Absolutely beautiful. Dendrobium sweet dawn. This is the Barbacella Ducerae, which is growing, growing and growing. And it's starting now if I can pick it up. To grow right round and it's now growing under the wood all the way around. Barbacella ducerai has thousands of small flowers on this when it does flower, generally in September. I mean if you look and see the little spikes sticking up there, that's where it's flowered from before. Now this is a Cilogene uh, granulosa, a big plant this, getting ready for repotting, it's coming over the side but it's coming into spike, you can see there there's what, 
one there, two, three, some more there, some more down over the back there. So that's going to look nice in a couple of months' time. So lodging it granulosa. There's one I can't really reach there because this thing's in the way. Uh, about knee height so I can't reach over and get it and uh, this is a Kingianum and this is getting plenty of plenty of spikes on it so that will smell the greenhouse out when it uh, when it does flower Dendrobium Kingianum there's some big plants here of uh, Dendrobium chrysotoxum. Absolutely going mad on the size of the bulbs and everything. Well, the pseudo bulbs. And I think over here, this one is a, a good one. This one is a, a huge plant. And this is a huge plant. This is a uh, Trichoglottis. Just in an ordinary basket there. I don't think it's got much uh, medium in it, but look at the size of the plant. Hangs all the way down here. And if you look closely, it's coming into bud. You can just see them coming out there slightly. Trichoglottis brevi something or other. I'll find a label and have a look. Here we are. And this is one she got off Chantel Orchids years ago. Trichoglottis rosia berverisima. Berverisima, yeah. Wow. Big plant. There's a dendrocillium, dendrocillium with uh, fantastic growth coming up. And then there's this uh, densiflorum. That was a beautiful plant when that was in full flower. Now here's a new one on me. It's a uh, Pleurothallis immersa. And it's one that grows flowers from the middle of its leaves. And this is coming into flower, I believe. See if we can find it. Yeah, there's one there. You can see how they grow out of the leaves. And turn it round a bit. Some more there. This is a heavy plant too. Here we are. Plenty coming out here. If I just lift that up, you can see them. You see them growing out of the centre of the leaves. And there's one there with a spike coming up out of the centre of the leaf. So I don't know what these flowers are like, but uh, they could be a bit interesting. Pleurothallis immersa. Then we've got the Noid uh, Phalaenopsis over here. Very nice, nice pink bloom to these as well, white and a bit of pink around the edges, absolutely nice. And this one is the uh, Stenoglossus that uh, just dies off every year and there's nothing left. And then once it, once it starts uh, growing like this one is, you start watering it again. And they're very, very nice. Stenoglossus. Uh, Senaglottis what? Longiflora. That's it. Here's another nice big plant. This is a Cilogeny and uh, I can't read the name because uh, the plant is absolutely stuck in the pot. It's wedged by all these big bulbs it's got. You see them? Masses of big bulbs. And this, she split this one last year into three pieces, put this one back in the big pot and it's now filled the pot up. 
So it's one of those things that's in memoriam of uh, Michael somebody or other. I can't remember the name. But uh, they're beautiful flowers when they come out as well. And right above this one, she's got this large Fias Colossus. This is coming up with some nice new growths there. And it's now just coming into flower. I think it's one, two, three, four spikes on it. There we are, nice and tall. Loads and loads on it. Another one here. Very big plant. Fias Colossus. Here's a Colossus Tancuvillii. It's growing very nicely. That's coming up with a few new growths round at the bottom. And then we'll just have a pan, pan round to see what she's got. I'd better show you these, hadn't I? Yep. Just pan round to all the uh, hanging ones. All doing very well. So what I'll do, I'll finish this video off when I get home and I'll finish off by uh, just putting some of my plants on it as well. Well I'm home now and it's far too dark to go in the greenhouse to start, uh, start filming in there because I've got to put up some lights and I've got to uh, start on the drip system again in there to make that sure we're right for the next two, two or three months. That's got to be done. So the only thing I can show you now that I haven't shown you before is this. It's just opened. Absolutely gorgeous, I think. It's uh, Joshua Irwin Ginsberg. Absolutely beautiful. Love that. Now a lot of growers and people who comment on my uh, videos keep saying they would love some Mazda Valias but it's far too hot where they grow but what this one will definitely grow where you are because this is a hot growing, warm to hot growing Mazda Valia and this Mazda Valia Gutierrezii uh, you can see this is doing very well in the warm I thought I'd lost it once and then I put it in this warm room where it gets up to 28 degrees every day and you can see the roots are now starting growing absolutely beautiful. They're going right round. So they're a nice uh, they're a nice one to get. They're, they're what's classed as a mini miniature and uh, but the uh, the blooms on them are quite spectacular. Mazdevalia Gutierrezii. Now this is a foul uh, loyai that looks a bit of a mess at the moment, but uh, it's a deciduous plant that loses all its leaves, but this has still got one on, but the roots keep on growing. That's the beauty about it. It gets watered every day, so uh, this shouldn't be so bad, and this is in the nice warm room too. So a puffy pedlum, a loyai. Not Paphia Pedalum, Phalaenopsis Loyi. God, I keep getting mistake these days. I'm looking at too many plants. Well, somebody told me that my Catlianth here wasn't getting enough light because the uh, the leaves were too green. But uh, what I've done now, I've uh, I've put this right under the uh, under the Mars Hydro light. You know, it's doing very well though, I mean it's got a nice growth there and a nice grow there so we should get some nice flowers off this next year. And uh, that's about all I've got to show you today till I get in the greenhouse tomorrow when I shall do another video. So thank you very much for watching. Thank you to all my subscribers. A happy new year to everybody. Hope everybody has a healthy and prosperous new year. And until tomorrow, I'll see you later. Bye.